as a pitcher, we're going to show two different angles. Okay, we're going to show behind the mound, behind the plate. With uh, the behind, or behind, yeah, behind the mound, behind the plate. You know, with the guy standing. Are you showing the gun too? What they're doing? You know, I, you can or you can't. I mean, the bottom line is, you know, with with, with the camera and you, you set it up behind home plate, you can eyeball what yeah. what the velocity is. You can see the movement. Um, you know, you can put a gun there. You know, the problem is, is that you know, do, does, do people have a big gun that's in the back? I've seen some people do videos where they they cut out and they show the radar gun, right. but that can be misleading. Mm -hmm. um, so again, I, I think it's just best not to put the gun and let the college coach. Again, if you put that camera right behind the catcher, you idea. can see yes. it. Um, and the pitcher goes through his repertoire. All right. Now, usually it's you know I don't like them to throw all fastballs in a row. I like to go fastball, curve, change, so they can see the dip, speed difference and the location difference. Call out where you're. You know, throw. Maybe call out what you're throwing, or do this, or go like this. But um, you know, 15 to 20 pitches per angle, perfect. You're done there. That's all you need to do. Um, you don't want to overdo it. Okay. Again, the, the video is just a snapshot. Um, the recruiting video either ends the recruiting process or continues the recruiting process. It's not going to get you a scholarship. All right. The beauty of the video is it gives the, the college coach an idea of what they're dealing with, what they're working with. Um, if they see your video and they're not, you're, you don't fit their skill set. They're not going to call you back, or they might say, you know, thank you for your interest. You're, you're not what we're looking for at this time. Um, if they are interested in you, then they're going to invite you out to their camp, or they're going to want to take a personal look at you. They're going to come to the school if they're local. Um, they're going to call your college coach, or call your high school coach, call your travel coach. They want to see what type of kids you are. They're going to get you on campus. Um, they're going to say, you know, hey, I'm going to be at this showcase, or what tournaments are you going to be at so I can watch you play. They're going to, they're going to have to see you in person. Um, for hitters, you know, we're going to film a front, side, and behind angle. Okay, I don't know if that's if that's the video you've seen on the, but we're going to try to get three angles of hitting. Um, we don't want to do any T work. We just want to get something live. Um, it doesn't have to be, you know, a hard BP, but just something where the coach can evaluate your swing, your mechanics, how hard the ball is coming off the bat. Can you, you know, are you sprint? Are you hitting it to all fields? Are you just pulling it? Are you popping it up? What's the what's the velocity look like off the bat? Um, try to give a college coach those ideas. Okay. Infield play, we'll set the camera up behind first base. We'll get to, you know, so the college coach can gauge your arm strength. We'll hit balls to your left, to your right. Usually, if you're an infielder, we'll put you at shortstop. Okay? College coaches are recruiting catchers, pitchers, shortstops, center fielders. If you don't play those four positions, you, you better bring something else to the table. Okay? I'm just being really up, up front and blunt here with that. Um, if you're a corner guy, if you're playing third base, if you're playing first base, you better have some size. You better be able to put the ball out of the ballpark. Okay. Um, second base is not a highly recruited position. Um, usually, second base is a position at the collegiate level. They're moving shortstops over. Okay. They're moving shortstops to third. Uh, they're moving center fielders to left or to right. Um, if you're an outfielder, um, again, I don't know if there's an outfield film on there, but we're hitting fly balls to the outfield. Um, we're zeroing in on how they catch the ball, make sure their mechanics are in the right spot, they're coming in on the ball, they're not on their heels, and then we zoom out as the camera throws to second, to third, to home. Um, the beauty about the skills video is that you can control the skills that are being shown to a college coach. All right, you can take hours on hours of game footage and you might never get hit a ball to your left, or a ball to your right, or you might never be able to hit a curveball, or you, know, you might never get to see a curveball that's hittable. Um, the skills video, we control what we want to see. So there's a, you know, again, I, you know, I have a mental checklist. I've done this for so long that I know everything I want to see. Um, but I do have a checklist that's on paper that said i got to see this skill, this skill, this skill. When I first started doing recruiting videos, I would actually be out there with a the clipboard, okay, two ground balls left, two ground balls right, double. There's a, there's a systematic approach to doing this.